Hello, this is Dave from cheapbooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. Um, I decided I wanted to upgrade all of my vehicles. And I want to make sure that they're all equipped. They don't have to be in a standard, but I want to make sure that they're equipped with uh, things that are appropriate. Uh, because sometimes I bought equipment a long time ago that seemed like a right idea then, because perhaps it was free. And I might have equipped a vehicle with something because it was free. And... Uh, I think I want to make sure that now they're all equipped with what they should have. And most of the vehicles I want to have the camouflage net. And I want to have the coated optics and in many cases a binocular telescope. There might be a few exceptions. So I'm going to check to see what each vehicle has. As you can see the TOG has uh, a medium caliber tank gun rammer which is pretty good. And it also has the enhanced gun laying drive, which uh, which increases the aiming speed, which I'm okay with both of those. Let's see what else we got here. Coated optics and binox. Coated optics and the tank gun rammer. Um, the gun laying drive and the tank gun rammer. I don't think that this tank needs this uh, gun laying drive. This is a fast tank. It should really have uh, coated optics on it. You know, I'm not worried about the aiming speed. Aiming speed is something you want on something like a tank destroyer. So I'm going to demount the gun laying drive. And I'm going to replace it with coated optics. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it the way it is. For now. This has coated optics in the binox. This has the tank gun rammer, uh, which makes it load a little faster. It's very useful because a tank that loads in 10 seconds would now load in nine seconds. So obviously, if your tank has a very slow load time, you probably want that uh, that rammer. And the binocs are useful when you're spotting, but they're not useful when you're in all sorts of different types of combat. Um, I don't think I need this gun laying drive with this tank. I'd rather have something like uh, coated optics or a lot of the um, the battles that I fight with this tank is close range. So let's see what we got here. The vertical stabilizer, ventilation, the ammo rack, durability, the toolbox. I have that on one of my tanks. The spall liner. Um, fuel tank durability, suspension load capacity. Coated optics, binocular telescope. Well, let's review these. Binocular telescope allows you to see further, but your vehicle has to be stationary. And you have to wait perhaps two seconds before it activates. Camouflage, uh, when your vehicle is stationary, it gives you a little bonus for camo. You want to be able to hide. Coated optics works all the time. And it, it lets you see a little bit further, an extra 10% which is good. You're driving around and, and you get a little bit of a additional range. The gun laying drive is for aiming speed. You want that on things like a tank destroyer because a tank destroyer uh, is good for sniping and usually you want to make sure you aim properly because you're going to be shooting from far away. So any tank that you shoot from far away you probably want the gun laying drive. An SPG you probably want faster aiming speed so you probably would also want something like that on an SPG. Uh, this thing for load capacity and suspension durability. Um, I don't really see the need for this. Obviously, it sounds like when it says something like suspension durability, a fast tank hits the, sp hits the suspension hard because a fast tank will be going over a lot of bumps really quick and jumping off of cliffs and things like that. I've heard of people talking about this, but for the most part, I don't know of anybody using this. Um, obviously, they have it here for a reason. 
but I don't know why anybody would want it. Um, I suppose that you might want to put a gun on your tank and you don't have the load capacity because you haven't upgraded your tracks, you could get this. It's kind of expensive to, uh, to add to your vehicle, so I'm not going to put it on any of mine. Uh, the fuel tank durability, I don't think I have any problems with any of my vehicles exploding. Uh, but that's something that you can get. There are some vehicles that that do have issues where they are more likely to have the fuel tank uh, set on fire. I don't know which ones they are, but if you see a fuel tank, like for example this IS-3, it looks like the fuel tank is sitting on the back there. It looks like there's two fuel tanks. Um, those could probably ex explode more easily than on some other tanks. The spall liner, a protection from ramming and explosions. That sounds like something you would want to have on an SPG, because SPGs get rammed all the time. And a tank destroyer gets rammed frequently, and a light tank gets rammed frequently. Uh, so you probably want that on a light tank, a light armored vehicle, an SPG, a tank destroyer. Um, minus 10% to loading time, the large caliber tank and rammer. You want this on a vehicle that takes a long time to reload. Uh, for example, maybe you would like that on an auto loader like the T69 or the AMX 1375. Uh, I think it takes 30 seconds to reload, and when a game is only 15 minutes long, you know, if you spend 30 seconds firing and 30 seconds reloading, you can sit there and actually calculate that a lot of your time is spent reloading in the game. In fact, most of your time is probably spent hiding and reloading. So that would be good for that type of a vehicle. The toolbox, plus 25% to repair speed. I have it on my um, Yag Tiger, and the reason why is because it was always breaking down. And the reason why it was always breaking down is because it's a tank destroyer. It doesn't have a turret that can spin, so people know they can shoot at the tracks and disable you, and you can't aim, aim your gun at them. So I got the toolbox because of frequent repair issues. Um, the ammo rack durability, perhaps your ammo rack explodes frequently. Uh, it can happen with some of these vehicles. Let's look at this one. The ammo rack is going to be in the back. Uh, you see this little hump in the back of the vehicle. I, the tank destroyer is the best example, which is this one. You can actually see the ammo. If you look in there, you see the round shells where the ammo is. It's under that uh, gun. Uh, I know to hit that. If I see something like that sticking out the back of a tank, back of a tank I'm going to hit it. I don't see a lot of vehicles being ammo racked. I don't see them exploding in the game because of the ammo rack, so I don't think it's something that, that I would recommend for uh, a vehicle unless you do have chronic problems with that. So there's also the improved ventilation, improves your crew skills, the vertical stabilizer, improves accuracy during movement. That sounds like something you would want if you have a fast tank, uh, a fast light tank or a fast medium tank. If you plan to do a lot of shooting while moving, you probably would, wa would want something like that. I don't know what vehicle I left off on. Maybe it was this one. So the the medium caliber tank on rammer, you really have to check to see what your reload time is. If you've got a fast reload time, you don't want it. Like this Centurion probably has a fast reload time because it's probably got a tiny gun on it. This, as you can see, the FV-304, I put the ramming protection and the coated optics. Binox would be great. Uh, the reason why the Binox are good is because SPGs tend not to move very much. They tend to sit in the same place, which means that your binocular telescope would be active all the time, which would give you an extra 25% view range, which gives you additional warning when a vehicle might be approaching you. Uh, that looks okay. Okay, so here I have a tank that, that needs to be equipped. Um, aiming speed, I got the, the tank gun rammer. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on. Maybe I'll put both just to fill it up. Indian Panzer. He's got 
the, the tank gun rammer. Um, okay, here's another vehicle that needs to be equipped. Uh, he should have something like coated optics because uh, because he's always running around. He's very fast. So a fast tank, you want coated optics. And the reason why is because it extends your view range, which which you should already know. And if you're fast, you're going to spot a lot of tanks. And if you have an extended view range, you're going to spot more tanks. So if you have any plan to do spotting, which you would do with a fast tank, you want the coated optics. So I'm going to purchase coated optics for this vehicle. As you can see over here, I have the toolbox, which perhaps I could remove. Uh, this vehicle uh, is definitely used for spotting. You definitely want the coated optics and, and binox. Same with that vehicle. This one, it says uh, increased aiming speed. I have no idea why I have that on this tank. I, I should get rid of that. Um, I don't need the increased aiming speed. I'm probably going to get rid of it and replace it with something else. This has uh, plus 20% accuracy during movement and turret rotation. This is a fast tank. It kind of makes sense. However, after having played it for a long time, I would say I would not use it. I would probably use something else instead, such as uh, maybe a, uh, the t the I'd rather have the tank gun rammer. Uh, when you have a vehicle like this that's fast, you're just as likely to to be standing right next to the enemy in an open terrain, and you want to reload as fast as possible. So I would say that that would be a good idea. But I need to check the reload time on these tanks when when they're actually into the in the game. You can't look at the uh, specs on paper because your crew affects the reload time. So you want to see what your actual reload time is for your tank. I know that my Matilda has a fast reload. It's got the tank gun rammer. And it's got this ventilation thing, which I really don't think I need this ventilation thing. So there's a good chance I'm going to get rid of it and replace it with something else, um, like coated optics. Oh, you know what? The Matilda's a slow tank. And being a slow tank you're not really going to discover anything, so the coated optics might not be that much of a benefit. Uh, this vehicle looks okay, but you've got these binox here, right? And the binox, I, you can remove them without paying any sort of penalty, so you can swap them between tanks whenever you want. With a tank like this, it's not designed for spotting, right? So you don't need the binox. If you had a choice between coated optics and binox, you take the coated optics, because the coated optics work all the time. And you put binox as a secondary, um, secondary spotting device. So there's a chance I will take that off. I probably put that there just to fill up the space, because you don't have to pay for it. That looks okay. That looks okay. That looks okay. I don't know how I got these enhanced springs on here. It makes absolutely no sense. I probably got them for free or something. Uh, but I could imagine that I want to get rid of them. Uh, replace it with something else. Okay, so I've gone through and I reviewed it. I don't think I'm going to make any changes right now. Because I know I have that extra pair of binocs, right? Where would I put them? I could imagine I could put it on a TOG. A TOG is very slow, so often you just want to park it somewhere. Um, I suppose that uh, he could use the Binox. Definitely want it on that and that. I suppose that this Yag Tiger would have Binox on it, because... Uh, this is a vehicle that you might want to hide behind a group of bushes. And having that to extend your view range might be pretty cool. Um, faster tanks that are big, like this FCM-50T, you definitely probably would not use it. I'm going to play the game a little bit and 
see if I can figure out what I'm doing and what I'm not doing to see where these uh, devices fit in. And that is my analysis of my equipment. Uh, the other thing you can obviously do is go to your depot and you'll see things that you can sell, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're talking about equipment, so I could sell camouflage nets, the tank gun rammer, the gun laying drive. I'll probably sell this gun laying drive because I probably won't use it. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to use it, so I will get rid of it. Shells not compatible with my guns. Modules. Okay, so that's my analysis of my equipment.